check? Does he need to bet here? Or should he well, wait? Well, his plan wasn't to bet. Now he picked up a straight draw, so. 12,000. And Roland made this play purely to outplay Tony G. He called him a flop with no pair, no draw. Just saying, I think Tony has queen or king high, and I'm going to make him lay it down. Tony's giving him a hard look, Phil. Yeah, well, Tony's been Tony's had these looks, and he's been right every time he's really wondered, but he hasn't followed through. Instead, yeah. he just lays it down, lays it down, and and doesn't bet, you know? And so Tony G needs to step up his game if he wants to win this. He's going to have to... He's going to have to read someone, trust the read, make the bet, and go with it. Was it the first pot Roland's won on this final table? First one I can remember him winning. Pass. You'll pull the trigger soon, Roland. This is obviously a very... T oh, boy, oh, boy, oh, wow. 25,000 total. This could be trouble for somebody. Fifty-five thousand. Wow. We know who it's trouble for. Wow, and this and this is the problem. Eastgate has doesn't have as much real world experience Pass. here, and uh, and because of that, his his reading abilities haven't been fully developed. And there's something about when someone has exactly two aces, the best possible you, land, you can always best. see it in their eyes, and he didn't see it. Now let's see if Tran can. Wow, smooth call. Wow, that's beautiful play there. And now, I mean, should the alarm bells go off in Eastgate's head? Are, what, what kind of hands, what range does Tran have to the call alarm, a re-raise? When someone raises with two aces and you're sitting behind them and you're a great player, you can usually see it's two aces. So, oh my god. Eastgate could be out first. He could Eastgate, be out first! Well, Eastgate is, will be worried about a king-queen, that's for sure. You know, so... Let's see what he does here. Bye-bye, Peter. Rise. All right, I hope you need a father set. Oops. Chasing Chasing aces. Aces. And yeah, DeWolf knew the it. DeWolf yep. said JC's got aces. Yeah, well, that's the great players can see it. Well, it's, it's going in anyway, so. Unless he folds, it's going to complete. It's all in, so, I mean, Eastgate busted himself by, by, by not reading Tran well. I had five. I'm pissed off against JC. JC look versus uh, Peter yeah. Eastgate look. A five would be a good card. I had a five. Good, good game, game, me. I haven't covered, so. That's a good card for me. That That's is a, a really good card. good card. It's that is a great card. Now he only has two wins in the deck. I love what you do. 20 to 1 favorite. Just has to avoid a king, and he has a massive chip lead. Oh. Good. Just in case there was any doubt, there's the ace. And so I think Who's Eastgate kind of unnecessarily Who's busted himself early there. Um, you know, re-raising with king nine of spades just didn't need to do that. It was too early in the game to take a big chance like that, especially against the guy who's been reading him perfectly and, and played him perfectly, to be honest, on this hand. Tran was Eastgate's bogeyman throughout this whole Premier League, Phil. And, oh, wow, I mean, look at this. Eight, nine, three, that's a lot of chips. Wow, he has like 50% of the chips almost. That's a scary amount of chips. He's playing great. I play pretty much the best I can do, and uh, I just happen to not to be my day. Welcome back to the final Thank table of Premier League Poker yeah, 3. Yeah, run, kid. Yeah. It's an open the, seat the, the, the where the world champion the used to be. But. No, uh, then you gotta get in the your top pair and put it on. That's how I run. Yeah. Okay. Right, Phil. <laughs> Phil, right. Just like the aces against your ace, King Phil. You saw that trophy on the bar there. JC knows it's there. Throughout this tournament, he's been looking at that trophy. He's been asking if it'll fit in his carry-on luggage on the plane. I mean, he's uh, he wants it, and it's a nice-looking trophy. It will fit in the carry-on luggage. I brought trophies home from <laughs> Europe before. I made it fit, so yes. And there'd be a certain sort of logic, I think, if you had a different table lineup, Phil, where people are just going to say, all right, now it's time to hunker yeah. down and play for second. But these aren't those guys. Yeah, and look at this hand. Dwan re-raised me with Jack-6 and a heat. He re-raised somebody else with Jack-6. I think he likes to treat Jack-6 like ace-king. Now, let's see what JC does here. It translimped here with the ace-8, which is 
which is weird starting out. Yeah, but if he's reading, if he's really on the top of his game and trying to play every... Look at this. He went right with him. And now... And now Dwan knows he's in trouble, but he doesn't know how bad a shape he's in. And the great thing about Tran's smooth call is he just smooth called with aces, so... Dwan has about... Oh, he has about 180 back. Can he win this pot with JC having bottom pair? I'm waiting for an I guess there's 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 three options here, Phil. Check, bet small, or bet big. If Dwan bets small, he's getting called. If Dwan bets medium, he's getting called. He checked. And and that check by Dwan obviously didn't. It didn't uh, mean that he can't try and win this pot on a later street. Phil is now the time. Well, it's a very interesting hand here. I mean, Dwan caught a great card here to give him an open-ended straight draw. Um, you know, isn't the problem that if he makes sort of a bet and gets raised, then he's, he's you know, he's not going to have a chance to try and hit the straight? I mean, that's a... Dwan's thinking about potentially moving all in. That's certainly one of his options here. And uh, if he bets forty or 50000 he could easily get called. 7000 JC can still beat Ace Jack. He can still beat Ace Queen. Pass. Wow, just laid it down. This is only a couple hands I can beat. That's this right. Three and four deuce. I'm How sure. about Jack Six? <laughs> Off suit. I had four deuce beat. Do you have a Queen High beat? That's a tough hand to beat. Yeah. He wants to go. It's also good. Means something for like a business Well, man. early <laughs> to have nearly 50% of the chips in play, but that is JC in the stratosphere. Everyone else playing catch up. They let the B graders back. <laughs> they need a couple of the stooges. Right, See all those movies of the stooges? Cycle. Roland's having a little look over at you, huh? Close to moving in. And, and look, look at this, there. rolling with pocket <laughs> king. Oh, wow. wow. He did look interested, didn't he? And he is going to get called. Yuha, I believe, is going to call 100,000 more. It's just not in Yuha's nature to hold this hand. So Roland's thinking about how he wants to play it. But Phil, you, you know just what? said Roland should be slow playing now. Yeah. Yeah, but now that I can see the cards, I think he should move in. Rolling. No, seriously, I... I, I a slow play would have been just fine there. And Into the body. The safety's off. And where is a pair of eights as far as what Roland's range is here now? I mean, uh, J I think you're going to see JC fold this hand, and I don't think it's going to take him that long. What would Phil Helmet do? Find a friend. Pass. I know what JC would do. Good fold, <laughs> JC. Pass. I know what Yuha does. Do you? I know. Yeah. Are you strong, Roland? What do you have? Always strong, buddy. Always strong? You can always bet on you, have don't worry. <laughs> always strong. How strong? Now, I think Yuha really could get away what? from this. I mean, Roland hasn't moved in the whole oh, no, time. Much, and and Yuha told me Maybe that he could game. see in his face when Roland is really strong. And I can, too. I mean, I made some laydowns against Roland as well. Don't look at me, huh? <laughs> And Yuha's being very smart here. He's oh. taking his time. Oh, but he made a mistake. Kings. How did I pick kings? Did I say kings? Did I say kings? Yes. How good? Man. Eight. 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 How good is that? I said kings. I said kings first. I need to suck out. Maybe. I'm pretty sure that was the only I still got so far. That's OK, buddy. I got to hold it against you. But this kings. is the spot wow. DeWolf needed wow. from the start. Yeah, and he got quite a bit of action with the ace queen there. I, I don't think Yuha had to play the hand. Um, no, bigger than mine. Rollins were playing kings. super tight. The last second I felt it, it wasn't like I felt it right away. Kings. Oh my god, and, and there's an ace. Wow, I that's just like not even that's right. Bad news, but wow. The, news, but it might still come. the one man show. Do you have a king? That's <laughs> kind of kind of hard for Tony. That's the needle. The bear is poking back out of the cage and wow. Wow, yeah, that's, that's, that's almost not even fair. I mean, like King, you, you know, I mean, Roland, he, he executed the patient strategy perfectly and got it all on with kings against ace queen. And he's still going home unless a king comes. Every time he's been in a position to actually get in the game, he's been knocked back and had to just claw his way. And uh, this one knocked him out. Bish Bash, four handed.
the smoke's clearing. Uh, I thought that Yuha had a good chance to finish in the top three. He's just pretty steady. I don't know if he deserves to have 470,000 in chips. I think he probably deserves to have about 200,000 in chips. But the ace-queen beat the kings.